Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan, and today we've got kind of an interesting setup. And I got, I got an, when I get emails, I get emails people asking me questions on certain things, but I don't always, I'm not always doing that thing. They say, hey, can you do a video on this, or can you do a video on that? And I'm not, I don't actually have that task at hand. And uh, someone was asking me how to accurately tip the head of my machine. Now. This is a, a tramming tool. You can either get a, uh, a professionally made one by uh, Edge Technologies. They make wonderful tools. Or you can make your own. This was built for me by Mr. Rick Gerhardt. And uh, I've got the head in neutral. And I'm just using a bearing race to uh, swing this thing around and check tram. Um, there's a few things you need to know. You need to make sure that your head trams properly. Uh, with the knee locked, I want you to notice this gauge right here. You can see it's a little bit below. I'm going to reach down over here and lock my knee. I want you to watch this gauge here when I lock this last one. That should have come up that last 1,000. So, yes it did. So everything matters, you know. Uh, make sure your knee's locked, make sure all your gibs are tight and everything when you go to do these kind of things because it'll throw your measurements off. Your, ta your knee will actually drop a little bit. So now we're, uh, we're actually just calibrating <clears throat> uh, the tool here and make sure I get zero readings all the way around. I know you can't read the ones uh, over here, but I can. And I'm happy. I'm, I'm zero, zero, zero all the way around. So we're good. And uh, now we can pull our, our quill up out of the way and get our bearing race out of here. And what our angle today is, is 35 degrees. Um, and we're going to use, we're going to use this tool now that it's calibrated to the quill. We're not going to touch it. We're going to set a sign bar. We're going to set a gauge block stack. And we're going to uh, set the head at 35 degrees. Now you're, you may ask me, how did I arrive at that? There's an app <laughs> that I found that's to be pretty cool. It's a free app. It's called a right angle triangle calculator and you punch in your hypotenuse length which that sign bar is five inch so you got five inch and then if you know your angles there's your there's our 35 degrees and it'll give you your gauge block stack over on this side so really simple uh, look it up that's for that's for Android and that's what I use uh, you know uh, Suburban Tool also has a very nice uh, sign plate calculator. You can use that as well. But all we're going to do now is start tilting the head, and we're going to use a protractor at first. Oh. Well, now I got to go clean my gauge block stack. <laughs> but we're going to we're going to put our sign bar in at an angle, and now we're going to bring our tool down and touch the sign bar till we get a zero zero reading. So pretty simple. So now, now I need to go clean all my gauge blocks because I just tipped them over and exploded them like a bonehead. Uh, but let's get this thing in the ballpark um, and get the sign bar set and everything. And uh, I'll bring you back after I'm all cleaned up and ready to show you the rest. Okay, well we've got, we've got our gauge block stack uh, cleaned and put back together. Everything's all running together again. Uh, we've got our sign bar in very square. To this rear jaw. We use the back of the sign bar to pump it in and make sure it's square. You'd get bad readings if it was tipped either way. And then we're uh, making sure our spindle's nice and square here. So we're coming down. We're not coming down like this or like this, but we are coming down nice and square. And I've got it pretty close. I'm just uh, kind of on the protractor there. I'm just going to come down until I get a reading kind of on both. <coughs> And we really don't care if it's zero, we just want both numbers to be the same. Now I haven't touched these dials, and we're just going to uh, start pulling that up a little bit. So they don't match at 95, so we're about 10 thousandths off. That one's coming to 90. And that other one's uh, five under. Let's go to zero on the right gauge. And see now we're only four off. Let's go to five above on the right gauge. 
and now we're five above on the left gauge. So you just keep doing it until you've got the same number. It doesn't really matter what the number is as long as they're equal. Okay, so that's uh, how we're going to do that. Let's take it to zero and see if we can do any fine tuning on it. call that good. All right, there's 35 degrees. And now let's see if we can tighten our bolts up here without disturbing everything. Now I got a one thousandths movement on the left. Means I have to go back the other way. Let's see if I can get that out of there. Just never happy. Okay, we're one thousandth below on the right and zero on the left. And we're going to come down a little bit more. We're one and a half thousandths on the right. And about one on the left. Just one more little bit. All right. I'm calling that two thousandths below on each one. And now we can finish tightening. Hopefully with no movement. One, two, three. Okay, we're calling that good. And you can, I'll take you over here and show you the protractor actually. Once you get a good look at that protractor, that's almost, almost a half a degree off. So those, those little stamped uh, protractors aren't that accurate. They get you in the ballpark, but that's about it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this on how to tip your head on your mill accurately uh, using either the edge technologies or a home-built uh, double gauge setup. That's how you calibrate and that's how you uh, uh, get everything set up. I uh, appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one.